if you want. I assume you want to. Yes. Yeah, Did you just do it? Yeah, yeah. Did I miss it? No, I was just talking about that one that has the resistance total. Oh, yeah. And then it asks you the four, resist four equal resistors in parallel. Yeah. Do you want to do that one? Kind of, just kind of. I'll, 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 real quick, I'll take that resistance total divide it, and, invert, invert. and invert it. All right. And then divide by four. four. Divide by four. And then invert it. And then invert it. To get your because so you, when you divide that by four, you're going to have a decimal. Yeah. How did you, I'm sorry, how did you get one of the missing values? Like if our okay, so missing? if this is the answer, I got it. if this is the answer, if I would say, okay, you've got 4,500, and uh, these, you, I give you one, three, and four values, you convert these, the, the three you have, into decimal, and then subtract them from the resistance total decimal. You so you're going to give us the total then as well. You have to. I mean, it's, right. it's basically if I said 2 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, uh, 7, 8, 9, what's that, 27? Right. I think it's 27. Okay. So basically, if I didn't give you R2, I'd take that 7 away, and you can figure that out, right? Except yep. instead of whole numbers, they're decimals. Yep. So it just requires you to take your ohms and invert them. Then you do your subtraction. So if you know the total in a decimal, you subtract the other's decimal because you're missing number. Mm. If I gave you 27 and told, told you they were all equal value missing, then you just divide 27 by 4, and now you've got your four parallel resistors. <coughs> and then you just invert it again. And then double check your work. Once you've come up with your, your final answer, 1 over x plus 1 over x, and see if it comes up to your resistance total. Come on in. We're just we're BSing. I'm just going to do that preview again once uh, class officially starts. Cool.
Yeah, we'll find out. I'm going to try to do this again. I was going to try to do this again. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it Damon's? Salas? Miscellus? No, no, it's going to be the first thing. Anyway, it is Damon's. She won't be in tonight. Her mom had a stroke. Oh, she's in Phoenix. Oh, no. And then one of our other guys has got problems at home, but if he wasn't specific, he won't be in the night. Baby, so I kick him How's your brother doing? Oh, he's, uh, he's actually making it right. It's pretty much as you can see his burning words. I think I from that. So uh, I assume they're going to buy him a new bike? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he was online looking at a red one. <laughs> like it's all now. Were you working with him? Shit. He's got two kids. Yeah. 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 My, I mean, I ride. Think? My son's He's special needs, and he relies on me heavily. Yeah. His mom's still around. She'll screw him up. Well, he was doing something wrong, which is going 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Whenever he gets stuck. Yeah. That's why I mean, he shouldn't be around. Yeah, it's not smart. It's not smart. It's 10 miles an hour. Yeah. It's not smart. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. And I, I cut traffic too, and I don't like doing it, but sometimes it's silly not to. Well, yeah, that's, that's your advantage. You're the most like, I creep past, and I'm watching doors, and I'm watching the yeah, well, exactly. watching the vehicles. I do that. I kind of predict where it is. It's loving the breeze. I'm doing 40. No, I think. No, I think. So, if you want to get smarter, you might have to try to no, he's, he's lucky, lucky, he's lucky that he didn't catch that open door on his leg. Because yeah. it would have pinched it against the bike. Yeah, it could have been partially severed. Yeah. He's right. I guess a couple of Because if he tried to get around that door, if he had enough time to react and got it in there, some time to just catch in that door would have drug it across yeah. over his leg. Yeah. 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 He was in yeah. the big yeah. dark with these two ladies. Uh, yeah. 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 There he is. We can't. We can't move on. We can't move on. We can't move on. We can't when you're done, it was two a week ago, but. You know, he's going to get it the next day or two. He's supposed to get been kicking him out on the class. I think my team has to do both of them. Oh, the battery. Yeah, the battery was the one that was doing it. The battery was doing it. The battery was doing it. August 1st. Okay, the battery's doing it. But if you turn it in uh, a week late, uh, I won't pass. <laughs> I know you guys get a lot wrong. You know, and we're, we're at the point where, guys in lab, I'm only going to ask you to do uh, lab seven, through lab seven. So while we're in here in lab, if you're done, that's time to get caught up on any of your written assignments or labs that you haven't done, or uh, even if it's another aviation related class, use that time wisely.
you guys, you guys some of you may have seen this one. It looks fake, but I suspect it's real. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, bummer. That's what we're looking at. Land it. Um, <laughs> sit down real quick. <laughs> I believe it. You know why? Because we've had things like that happen right in front of my eyes in horse racing. Yeah. I've got a dash cam too. You do? Yeah. I like everything. Everything out the front is recorded. That's like yeah. <laughs> was he sort of bike though. Yeah, yeah. 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 I suspect yeah. it was just yeah. it was just his lucky day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's got like his heart. Wow. That's probably the company we're right. That's probably your day to just Pick another hobby or sport. Are you kidding? He probably yeah, feels I like a god. Right well, he probably he feels invincible. It wasn't your day. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> hey, you know you're dead. You know that card of the fudge. The reason the price card you can't eat the flight is flight is there. I don't look for them, but apparently there are a lot of videos where of people who don't survive doing stupid Wait, stuff. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't there, there be more really videos of that stuff? Oh. I mean, for every, for every how many they have these, how many more are... They don't make it. Usually yeah, they don't they're... make it. Oh. <coughs> Jumped 
protect this guy with the water. There's one where this uh, big truck backs over, big trailer and all backs over this lady, and she comes up crawling out. I swear she's crushed. She's like, no, 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 we're good, we're good. He's probably hanging on the bumper. You think he's yeah, pop up? Yeah, he's gonna pop up right there. It's a bad day. But you don't give me nothing. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> this country is literally with a helmet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's like, I still had a good time. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, there you go. Where's that? Nice to meet you. 10 second penalty. <laughs> yeah. I had a pedestrian on the uh, Las Vegas Strip years and years ago. I got on the sidewalk? <laughs> just, just minding my own business, driving down the street. I wasn't, people usually ask, did he live? I always say, I, I don't know, I didn't stop. <laughs> but, uh, he, um, another car hit him first, and he went over the hood of that car and came down in front of me. I had just enough time to lock my brakes, so that's how I went over the top of the guy. Mm. I don't know what kind of damage I did, but the ambulance was there in seconds. I think they post them along that strip. But I pulled over, and I'm trying to remember the timeline. It seems like I didn't even have to go around the block. I pulled in the parking lot, worked my way back. The cops were already talking to the guy who hit him first, and they're taking the, the, the information. And I'm standing a few feet away, waiting to talk, and the cop looks at me like, you know, what the hell do you want? I'm busy. So I'm thinking, well, I'll keep my name on that piece of paper. Nice day. But the reason I hit him was my girlfriend's fault. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in the, I want to say I'm in the, I'm in the lane. I'm not in the furthest lane to the right. But I'm either in the, I think I know, I'm second lane from the middle. I don't know if there's two lanes or three lanes. But the, the, tra the crowds are full on the street. My girlfriend just starts screaming, just outright, ah! and, and I'm, I'm the, the traffic's clear ahead of me, and I'm scanning, and I'm kind of watching, glancing over at the traffic, thinking, or the people, thinking something's going on over there, and then she, finally uh, she nudges me, and the guy's just, just as he comes in, just as he's disappearing under my fender. Move. She tried to tell me it wasn't her fault. I said, you know, next time you friggin' scream and just friggin' point. Yeah, and then you get a picture of my man. So the next day we're pulling in, she tried to tell me it wasn't her fault, we argued about it. So we're, we're, we're pulling in to get ice cream, and I'm the passenger. And she's driving, she's pulling into the spot, I go, ah! And she over, over the top of the friggin' concrete thing, and I'm going, this is all right. Yeah. 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 Once you guys done with the test, you get out of here. Okay, so this is it. This is pretty much the numbers have been changed to protect me. Um, three subatomics, proton, neutron, electron. One factor determines if a material makes a suitable semiconductor. How many electrons are in the shell? It won't. I mean, you can say the number of electrons in the valve shell because that's ultimately. Yeah. The answer, but the fewer electrons, the better uh, conductor it is. The more electrons in the valence shell, the better insulator it is. Yeah. And you can state that, but a lot of half the class does. I I mean, the fewer electrons, the better it's uh, the better conductor. Did I say it wrong the first time? Right. No, it's a better conductor with fewer electrons. 
It's a better insulator with more. You would think it would be the opposite with more it's electrons because those are the ones that are moving for flow. But yeah, it's a number of uh, electrons. We don't want to take any more. It's, it's yeah. more full. It's the way it's it's full. Full. Yeah. It has less, so it can take more. Yeah, yeah. Right. It could be. And I would have. Yeah, and so I was kind of okay. thinking, and somebody Ooh, might have described it that, that when you I have that many. But I think when you have that many, too, that their mass and gravity. They're, they want to hold get together for that. If there's too many, then it can't take more, so it's an insulator. And if there's few, yeah. then it can take one more. But if you, if you add enough current, they will migrate off. You can have a full a valence shell full of electrons, and if you put enough current to it, they will start to migrate. And what that means is you can have a piece of insulator that is going to fail on you if you have enough current. What factor determines the material mix? Okay, but that's uh, which unit to measure is resistance. Okay, show a particular resistance in engineering notation. Remember, I still got this on the last one. It's not ten to the fourth power. It has to be ten to the third, ten to the sixth, and the ninth, or ten to the negative ninth, or twelve. Engineering is going to be 10 to times 10 to some power. Engineering notation, there's a brief explanation on engineering notation. We did that. So when we see metric notation, I want to see mega, milli, pico, something. Um, and you'll always be asked to go to or from the baseline. That last one is one pico and for those that was just I put three in there. We're just doing a quick review. Okay, so what is the color code for a certain amount of ohm resistor at ten percent? So you'll do the three colors and the silver gold. It'll say what is the value of a tolerance resistor, and it'll give you three colors and probably silver. And then what is the value in tolerance of a resistor color? The same thing. It's gonna, it does give you a four color. But remember, just use the same. This is going to be your percentage. So if it's not gold or silver, use whatever number. If it's red, which is two, it's two percent. And if it's absent, it's zero. If it's absent, it's, it's twenty percent. What are the possible minimum and maximum resistance value for the resistor in the previous question? So based on the percentage of that color, and this is it's asking you for the one that's got a color in this position, figure out the, what the percentage is, add and subtract that. Um, oh, for the possible minimum and maximum resistance value? Yeah, so this one is what the possible minimum and maximum, what is the range based on this one? It's the one with the four. Oh, I always, always do the plus or minus. Either. You can do the plus or minus, but I'd like you to do the math yeah, so I can cool. see the range from it too. So right here, I'm just showing. There's that's four questions on the test. Just just so you see, um, that's not all one question. That's four different questions that just jumbled to get put together because they're all related. See, so there's. Remember, if this is black, this is the thickness. The third one is the number of zeros. If it's black, it's zero zeros. It's a two-digit two digit number. You, you only put a zero in that place if it's a one, which is black. Red thing is 15. That would be, uh, yes, it looks like 15. Plus or minus, I assume that's gold. Yeah. What's the value and tolerance of a resistor colored red, green, red, red? Okay, that's just another one. Um, I give you. I went through and gave you some samples. That was to explain that red percentage. That last one. Some of these again have percentages where they don't exactly jive. You won't see those. Not in this class, anyways. Uh, two resistors are connected in parallel. Both are so many ohms worth the resistance total. That's a simple. Uh, 1 over x plus 1 over x. Got it? Yep. Three resistors are connected in parallel to a 9 volt line. The total current is so many milliamps. 
Resistor 1 is 15K. Resistor 2 is 25K. Resistor 3 is how much? Okay. So you take your volts and your current, your total resistance. They're in the same thing in the five-year And then this is what you're talking about earlier with your resistance total. This this is not that one. No. But um, you gotta do a little curve chart on that. Okay. Yeah, you see, you gotta add the resistance. I get this. I think I've got an explanation now. Okay, so there it is. Um, so you take volts divided by current to get total resistance. So this is that one we just looked at. Which gives us 1,500 ohms. Uh, what else is there? That's the total current. I'm drawing a blank on this one right now. Yeah, because it, it, the total current's added in. So we took the 15K. You I did it. I got a different one. You did when I did it. 17. You get the current. 1,786 or something. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. You explain current first. The current's an average. You can you and can get the current. current. You can get the total current. You have you total current. current. You can figure the currents. These two currents and subtract. Sure subtract. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like 1,700 volts or whatever. Yeah, the volts are the same. Yeah, and then you have the current volts. Yeah, I think that's really the only way to do it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So once again, you got six milliamps of current. You convert. You get these. The current for these so using the voltage. Right. You take those two and add them together. Make sure that equal amps. And then you subtract these two from 0.6 amps. Yeah. And you'll get that. And, and then, um, yeah, you use 9 to get your voltage and your current to get resistance. It's like 17 something. You can do a grid on this, and it's basically it's what I have and what do I need. And when you're all done, you did get total resistance in the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you can double check your work easily enough. Okay, a circuit consists of three resistors connected in parallel. This example, it's a 10 ohm, a 30 ohm, and a 15 ohm. If the current flow through R2 is 3 amps, what's the voltage across R3? Okay, so if they, um, all you have to do is with, you just figure the voltage. It's a parallel circuit for all the voltages are going to be the same. So you've got current R2 is 3 amps and R2 is 30 ohms, so you can get the voltage. That's it. And it's a parallel circuit, so all the voltages are the same. If you do a grid, it, it should show up because you'll come to where you only have, you'll only have two values, and it'll be R 2s ohms and R 2s amps, and you'll be able to get volts. And if you're looking at that grid and you remember that it's parallel, volts are going to be the same all the way down. So a voltage a, vol a voltage drop is going to be the same for R one, R two, and R three. Get the total volts for R2, voltage drop is the same. Okay, 48 volts source is required to furnish 192 watts to a parallel circuit consisting of four resistors of equal value. What's the value of each resistor? Okay, so you get the. Uh, let's see. 48 is Okay, you, yeah, you will. I'd get uh, my total resistance with the uh, 48 volts and the 192 watts. I get total resistance, and then they're all the same. And then we do that one we showed you. Once you do that, you'll get uh, my example. Say, say it's 4,500 ohms inverted. Okay, I'm going to back up just a second. I've got voltage and I've got watts. Voltage divided by voltage, square, voltage square divided by power will give, give me total resistance. Yeah, I mean, you can do it in this way as a fifth, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you've got enough. Yeah, you can, it doesn't have to be voltage squared. You need to go three. Well, you have volts and you have watts, so you're pretty much you're pretty much limited as to what you can 
for track down. Um, you could get, sure, you could get other information, but what you need is resistance total. So again, if, if, if I do that, that chart and I get 4,500 ohms, I'll invert it to a decimal. Divide the decimal by 4 and invert it again. This is the one we were talking about. It's a simple x over 1 plus x over 1 plus x over 1 plus x over 1 equals resistance total. If I know the resistance total, and that resistance total, I think it was 0 0.002 or 0 0.005, I don't remember what it was. But whatever that is, you divide by 4, and you'll get 4 equal resistance values, which are essentially your ohms once it's inverted again. So I'm trying to make sure it's right. So I have 48 squared divided by power, which is 192, and I got 12. That's your total resistance. That's your total resistance, divided by 4. Yeah, you can you're telling me you do that's 48 ohms. You take the x over 1 and then you divide that by 4. And then oh, okay. yeah. So, what was your resistance total for well, this? 12. 12 ohms even? Okay, that's just proof. Yeah, so okay. So, you can just divide by 4. You can't do it. Okay. Yeah. That's more than You're still confused. The resistance total you told me was 12. You told me the resistance total was 12 ohms for this one. So if, if I knew, I'm doing the problem in opposite direction. I'm just doing it backwards. If I were given these four resistors, it'd be R1, 1 over X, plus R2, 1 over X, plus R3, 1 over X, plus R4, 1 over X equals and then it's going to be decimal. It's going to be 12 ohms, whatever the decimal is for ohms. Okay. I'm, not, I'm just going to guess, 0.013. I'm just going to make up a number. If that were 12 ohms, then these all three of these decimals, when I do that 1 over x, it's going to give me a decimal value. Yes. And that decimal value plus that one plus that one plus that one is going to equal this. Oh, okay, so I'll take... So, uh, times up to so it's simple addition and subtraction once you convert uh, ohms into to, okay. to decimal. So if, if this is my answer, and I have three of these, just the missing one, I subtract those three from this one to find the missing decimal. So then, uh, then I've got four decimals. If I add all four decimals up, they should add, to the, add equal this. And then whichever one I'm missing, that decimal, I invert back and not the ohms. Yeah, for unequal resistors. Now, they're having. Yes. So these, these are four equal resistors. I've just got to take that final answer and divide by four. Once you convert resistance to the decimal form by 1 over x, it's simple addition and subtraction going either way. Okay, you have a parallel circuit with three resistors, a 10, a 20, and a 40. If you measure 25 volts across the 40 ohm resistor, what's the current flow through the 10 ohm resistor? It's the same as... Okay, it's parallel and it's 25 volts. take any of them. Hold on, I want to wait for these guys because I want every opportunity to buy this. You still a little figuring out how to do yeah, it. Yeah, I think you're Do you know how to do the one over X on your calculator? Yeah, I, I got it. Okay. It's pink, but it does it. That's <laughs> nice. Okay, so this was the one after that. You have a parallel circuit with three resistors. It gives you the values of the three resistors. Um, you measure 25 volts across the 40 ohm resistor. What's the current for, for the 10 ohm? Okay, so 
what's the, the what's the voltage across the other resistors? 25. They're all 25. So you've got ohms and volts for everything, and you can get current. You just, got, you just, <laughs> just get the current. current. Okay, you have two parallel. Uh, you have two series parallel circuit. You have a series parallel circuit. Two resistors in series with a parallel leg containing three resistors of equal value. If the series resistors are both 125 ohms and the total resistance of the parallel leg is 45, what's the circuit total of the resistance? And I, I know you guys probably this is probably one of the easiest ones there. Yeah, you don't even have to mess with you don't have to mess with the parallel. They've already done that for you. They're already given you the, the parallel value. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look here. I'm gonna draw redraw this. It's 125 ohms, two of them in series. You got that? Yeah, I got that. And then a parallel, two parallel of equal resistors, but it doesn't really matter because they've already told you yeah, the parallel leg is 45 ohms. So it's 45 x over 1. No, no, no. You don't have to do anything. They did it for you. They gave, they've already totaled it for you. Oh, okay. You have two, two resistors, two resistors are in series with a parallel leg containing three resistors of equal value. The parallel leg is 45 ohms, so they've already done the math for you. So you've got a 125, 125, and they're in series with a 45, three resistors, but they've already given you the resistance. So it's just simple addition. This is one of those designed to make you think. I mean, they're throwing a lot of information at you on purpose because they want you to think about what's happening. And then you have this, and that's it. Could you go back for one second? <laughs> See, I understand how you get the one twenty. If the series resistors are both one twenty-five, how do you get two two one twenty-fives in that one? Okay. So, you have a series parallel circuit. Two resistors oh, are in okay. series. Mm -hmm. The series resistors are both one hundred twenty-five. Oh, okay. That's where I get the one twenty-five with the one twenty-five. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. And then the, the parallel leg is already given to you. It's forty-five ohms. Okay, okay. <laughs> And this one you'll need the grid for. You guys, have anyone, have, anyone need a once over with this? I'm not going to do the problem, but remember, you've got two paths, splits, and it's giving you the current on each path. You should, the first thing you'll do is have current for everything within moments. And then you fill in your grid, and you've got most of the information. Nick, you ready? Are you ready? Your mom has a shot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to play.